Scuffles break out in front of Tunisia's parliament. This as supporters of the country's largest party gather to denounce the president's decision to sack the prime minister and freeze parliament's functions for 30 days. The decisions by President Kais Saeed are not correct, against the constitution and reality. They bring us back once again to 1954. To see parliament closed by tanks is disgraceful. The president's decision has been celebrated by many in Tunisia. Supporters here calling on lawmakers to get out. Tensions in the country have been on the rise in recent months. The ongoing coronavirus pandemic, coupled with high unemployment, resulted in mass anti-government protests over the weekend. Analysts say the political paralysis is unlikely to be fixed overnight. It's hard to see how a compromise could be found at the moment between the different parties. It feels as if the, the situation has gone too far for that. The relationship between Parliament and the President has always been uneasy. Um, even before these latest developments. And it's, it's, as I say, it's difficult to see how that could be repaired. Um, a, another election would, be, uh, would, would be, be, be one option. Tunisia's main political party has accused the president of orchestrating a coup, throwing the country's nascent democracy into crisis.